The Duchess is constantly photographed cradling her baby bump. The habit was first noticed during her first overseas tour in Australia, when fans realized she held her belly regularly. And when the 37-year-old attended a state dinner in Fiji and her bump was seen prominently for the first time, she was holding the underside of her belly. Recently royal fans noticed Meghan cradling the top and bottom of her bump on stage at the British Fashion Awards. The habit has led some fans to question why she does this constantly. Some tweets labeled Meghan annoying and others reminded her the bump is not going to fall off. But according to an expert it is a habit which is known as cradling and should be positively encouraged. Catherine Graves, founder of KG Hypnobirthing, told the Daily Mail, It's a positive thing for both mum and baby to touch and reassure baby, which is vital for baby's bonding and well-being, staving off the snatal depression and facilitating healthy connection for your. It has been shown time and time again that babies recognize what they have experienced in the womb after they are born. If touching her bump does nothing more than help Meghan feel calm, even that will have a profound effect on her baby while Mary Jane Minkin, an obstetrician gynecologist who teaches at Yale University, said, I think it shows that she really cares for her baby, and that's terrific however Dr. Minkin said there wasn't any scientific data which proved it was beneficial for an expectant mother to touch her bump. She added, there really isn't a lot of data showing that touching the belly really calms the baby Georgia Rose of village maternity told people that mothers touching their bellies is a beautiful thing the midwife said. This is our totally normal thing that mothers do. And they do it instinctively and naturally the Duchess is due to give birth to her first child next spring, although Kensington Palace has not confirmed the day or month Meghan is due to give birth. The palace made the announcement just as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were arriving in Australia ahead of their first overseas tour. The top contenders for name of the royal baby are traditional and include Alice, Arthur, Philip, Victoria and Diana. According to the bookmakers Latrux, Victoria, H1, and Albert, 101, remain the front runners for the bookies, followed by Diana, 101, Philip, 101, and Alice, 121. However, Thomas is highly unlikely to be the name given to the baby, given the rift between Meghan and her dad. Thomas has odds of 2, 5, 1, which puts it on par with Teresa, Boris, Nigel and Donald as names with just a handful of wages on their chances.